Hey there, welcome to you in my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about booster theme backend customization section. So, you already know about the fastest Shopify theme and that is boost up. You also know that you can save huge money per month if you use booster theme. And in the previous video, I have shared how to upload a new theme on your Shopify store, especially the booster theme. And today we are going to playing around the booster theme customization section so that we can know everything in details and that will be helpful for you if you have started your website redesign with booster theme so let's get started so first of all you have to log in your shopify admin panel then click online store then you have to active or publish the booster theme so i'm going to click on the publish okay we have published the booster theme and we are going to check this font in looks here there is nothing right now totally blank shop and now we are going to check the customization section okay so i'm going to click on the customize button here is the booster theme customization section and first of all you can see that they have added top bar and if i put my mouse on any section and this section is automatically highlighted so that we can understand where is this section for example if i click on the adaptive slideshow you can see that the slideshow is highlighted right now okay so in the top there is a top bar where we can add free shipping bar or any announcement in here and under the top bar there have a lot of options for example we can make it enable for desktop only we can enable it for mobile only or we can enable it for both device then we can select the layout like global default box set full width background full width also the height we can change the height of this section and we can make the font size small base medium also we are able to change the color of this section just few click we no need to write any code for this theme okay then there is the header default section and here all the customization option like changing the layout height border radius enable shadow also menu link we can select the menu link from here for example i am going to select main menu then click on the select then we can change the color make it sticky we can change the card color we can change the hover style from here so we can make the header transparent okay then here is the upsell cross sell app that is default app that build in or integrate with this store and then there is the template section like adaptive slice shoe you can add slice shoe in here here is the slice shoe image and text link then featured product list collection cta featured collection image with text featured collection tab cta also if we click on the add section you can see the all the section there have 20 section and you can see the preview when we put our mouse on any section for example looks the preview of banner section block section cta section column section column plus text bulk section custom content dynamic grid faq featured collection featured collection title featured collection list featured collection tab featured product then grid heading image plus text instagram list collection list logo we can see more lookbook lookbook text map model showcase beta responsive slash show split image cta testimonial video plus text also there are 18 app available in here picture preview go to wish list payment logo payment carousel recently view shoppable instagram feed trust sell and base recommended product tracking widget tracking widget card carousel carousel widget gallery image a lot of things so I hope you understand everything very clearly. Here is the info base, footer section, sub footer, 
everything available in here and you can change any section as your wish so this is just a basic guideline or uh, playing around of booster theme so you have to touch all the section each section one by one and you have to check all the option change the options by yourself because there is no coding issue so you can do it without any coding skill so this tutorial is basically to check around or play around the shopify booster theme customization section so i hope this tutorial will be helpful if you already purchased the booster theme or if you wanted to purchase faster shopify theme and if you wanted to learn how to design or build your shopify store without any developer without any coding skill thank you for your time to watch this video if you think this video is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you need any service support relevant shopify seo and wordpress then you can contact with me have a nice day bye bye